Hey guys, it's Papa Steve on the move. This time we're in Waterton National Park, Southern Alberta. This is really a beautiful spot. Bertha Lake. It's about a six kilometer hike in from the town of Waterton. Uh, the trail heads right at Bertha and it's, it's a beautiful spot. We're gonna go check out the backcountry site here. We're gonna spend a couple nights, have a look around. I'll show you guys what you can expect if you camp here. The prairies of Alberta meet the peaks of the Rocky Mountains in Waterton Lakes National Park. Clear lakes, thundering waterfalls, rainbow-colored streams, colorful rocks, and mountain vistas await hikers and sightseers. Waterton packs a big natural punch into a relatively small and accessible area. Don't be fooled by the short distance of this hike. The climb is steep, but the beautiful lake that is your destination is well worth it. To access Bertha Lake Backcountry Campground, your journey will start at the Bertha Trailhead right in the town of Waterton. It's a great alternative to Banff in the Rocky Mountains, south of Calgary, and just north of Glacier National Park in Montana. This is a popular day hike area, so if the parking lot is full, look for free parking down at the street level or in the town. The trail heads gradually up with several great views of Upper Waterton Lake before arriving at Bertha Point. This is a great viewpoint and a worthy spot to stop for a photo just past the one kilometer mark. Head west towards the falls. After 2.6 kilometers, you'll pass Bertha Falls. Beautiful place. It's August, so we don't see the full scope of the water here, but this is really an amazing place. Nice spot right on the way to Bertha Lake. After some water and a snack break, walk across the bridge and start the trek up towards the lake. From there, you'll continue up for another 2.6 kilometers along 21 steep switchbacks through the recent burn of the Kino wildfire in 2017 and the brilliant new growth of wildflowers and berries. The total elevation gain of the trail is 584 meters. A short descent down a rocky path and Bertha Lake greets you. Head right over the bridge to get to the backcountry campsite. It's a short walk from here, but consider stopping to gather water at the outlet stream on the way in. The only other water source near the camp is directly from the lake. The water seems cleaner and colder here, so well worth the walk back later. A short walk around the lake from the outlet stream brings you to the campsite entrance. There are four tent pads in the campground. Two are situated closer to the path and two are up a little higher and farther in, separated by the pit toilet. Each pair of campsites is private, but close enough for a group to camp together. The two low ones were occupied when we arrived, so we made our choice of the upper two. Note that there is a really nice lookout point close to the farthest of the four campsites. Make sure you go up there to take a look at the path you just climbed and the view of Waterton Lake beyond. Beware of choosing this site to camp in, knowing that others will search out this viewpoint close to your camp. Each site has ample tree cover to hang a tarp if necessary, or perhaps a clothesline to dry out any wet clothes if you decide to brave the cold water for a swim. Traveling back to the lake path, it is another short walk to get to the food storage area and the lakefront. There are food lockers to keep your food and toiletries in. These may be the largest bear-proof lockers I've ever encountered in Parks Canada. You could frankly lock your entire backpack inside of one of these things. They are not garbage cans though. Please pack out everything you bring in. The food preparation area is almost nothing. It's clear that at some point there may have been a table in the area, but all that remains now is a makeshift bench made of rocks and timbers. Forget about lingering here to play cards or meet other campers in the evening. There's only enough space to eat and let the next group do the same. Wildlife sightings are very likely as we are visited often by a doe and her two fawns. Please do not feed the wildlife. The short hike around the lake is well worth it and provides a quieter experience on busy days at this popular lake. Definitely consider bringing a chair or something to sit on down by the lake. There is a natural beach here at the campground, very swimmable, 
and a great place to spend your evening before heading back to the tent. Enjoy the stars in solitude as the day hikers begin to vanish. Fires are not permitted at this campground and permits are required. Reservations can be made directly with Parks Canada on the website. I'll leave a link down below. As an added bonus, we enjoyed spotty internet service and cellular service right up in the campsite. Normally I don't mention the pit toilets other than to say it's present, but the single pit toilet in this campsite is a bit unique. There is an extension on the back of it to collect the waste, and inside there is a pump to move your waste by conveyor back into the receptacle. It keeps the outhouse smelling better, clear of insects, and cleaner all around. You will still need your own paper products and hand sanitizer. Overall, this is a beautiful lake to visit, and it's very reachable as a day hike. The campground is surrounded by a clear lake and coniferous trees, and offers beautiful views of Bertha Peak and Mount Richards. The campground has a maximum stay of three nights. However, I found it's not suitable for more than one evening, lacking some of the communal areas of far more remote campgrounds for seating, eating, and meeting other campers. There is a maximum of six people per tent site, and the campground does welcome dogs. It is walk-in only, no mountain bikes. So hey guys, that's Bertha Lake. Really is a beautiful backcountry site. We had a great time here. Not my best site, but man, you can't beat this lake. This is a beautiful spot. Makes for a great day hike as well. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comments or reach out on social media. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the trail. It's Papa Steve on the move.